J.K. Calloway here with Siobhan, jumping back into House of the Dragon. Episode 5, Season 1. It's called We Light the Way. Dragons provide light. Yes. Also the lore of light. Might that become the thing in this particular story? We don't know. Because... That seemed like a newer religion, right? Mm -hmm. Comparatively to mm -hmm. like the old gods and the new and whatnot. Maybe, but it's getting getting filthy with the politics lately. So we saw that uh, the doctor had a thing. Uncle Love was accurate. He called it from the beginning. Uncle Love o'clock uh, in a brothel. They hooked up a little bit. Like I wonder if, because like he seemed very quickly to like back away and then run away. Yes. Right? Yes. And we saw earlier in the season when he was trying to hook up with some woman, he couldn't rise to the occasion. Right. Well, yeah. Is that maybe what happened there too? Like he might just be an impotent, impotent dude? Maybe that's why he's not pushing for the crown as hard as we think he normally would be? Because he can't. Right, right, right? I don't know. We'll see. But, yeah. I, I don't know what he's playing at. Like, why does he want to marry her? What does that do for him? He gets to be king. Mm, he gets to be the, the, you know, first husband. Right. Who's King Elizabeth's hu uh, king, uh, husband? Who's Queen Elizabeth's husband, sorry? Not Charles. Not Charles. Um, I think it was actually the doctor as well. In <laughs> show the crown. Yeah, but and I can't... Um, exactly. Exactly my be, point. Yeah. Exactly my point. I don't think it does much for him, other than, you know, he gets to be impotent with more whores? I don't know. I, I think that says, uh, we'll see. But in the aftermath of that, I mean, she vehemently denied it. Daenerys. Daenerys. Renera, sorry. They're both blonde. All blondes are the same to me. Renera vehemently denied it, but he happily admitted it. So, you know, basically, he, she's being sent off to marry. The Valerian Prince, uh, she agreed to it if he got rid of his hand, the king that is. And the hand is the one who set, you know, the king up to marry his daughter. So, I mean, yeah, that happened. Hand is out. I'm sure he's not done. But we'll see what's next, because there's a lot of, a lot of moving. We like the way. Under his eye. No. Wrong show. Mm-hmm. And the show actually Very is wrong show. I mean, the king's pretty pro-choice, as we saw in the last episode. Like, there's more care for women's rights in this show. <laughs> in House of the Dragon than there is in Handmaid's Tale, which or, we are very quickly becoming. Or this country? Mm-hmm. That was the... Yeah. That was my thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's... Also, you see the cool art behind us. We've mentioned it before, but... Yeah, we have a sponsor. Movie Palette. They're very cool. Decided to sponsor the channel. You want fifteen percent off everything they got? Go to moviepalette.com. Uh, I'm sorry, JK Reacts fifteen is the promo code. Go check them out if you like nerdy shit. And guess what movie it is? We have yet to say. Although when I watched uh, She-Hulk with, mm -hmm. with Draco, I was like, Draco, guess what movie it is? And he just goes, just names it. I'm like, no. <laughs> We want people to guess, but he's adorable. He gets passed. But let's jump back in. Halfway point. Here we go. Hi. Husband? Husband? Oh. What brings you to the veil? You made her sound like a dog. She's beautiful. What's wrong with you? Or have you at last come to consummate our marriage? Or perhaps your brother has at last had his fill of your company? Cast you aside in favor of a little girl. Hmm. Oh, shit. I knew you couldn't finish. Craven! 
I was saying. Brr. Different kind of finish, though. She swore her innocence, and I believed her. You wanted to believe her, as did her father. If you had not been so relentless in advancing egg on his heir. The king will die. It may be months or years, but he'll not live to be an old man. And if Rhaenyra succeeds him, Too late. war will follow. Do you understand? To secure her claim, she'll have to put your children to the sword. She'll have no choice. Mm. Either you prepare Aegon to rule, or you cleave to Rhaenyra and pray for her mercy. I mean, well, Rhaenyra is a Targaryen. She doesn't seem to be the man that... Doesn't seem to be. Neither did Daenerys. Daenerys was very calculated. You're perhaps in need of an ally? I'm the queen. I have no shortage of allies. Naturally. Princess Rhaenyra, for example. Mm -hmm. I did wonder if she could be relied upon now that she is unwell. Unwell? The Grand Maester delivered a tea to the Princess's chambers. Right. But those are just in case tea. Tea? Yes. Be welcome. May I offer you a chair? Cousin! Hey! Princess. Are you well? Very. <laughs> yeah. Damon's wife, the Lady Rhea Royce, has passed. A hunting mishap. She was thrown from her horse. Perhaps we can turn toward happier pursuits. <laughs> oh, thank what you. did you have in mind, Your Grace? I wish to propose a marriage <coughs> between your son, Selena, and my daughter and heir, the Princess Rhaenyra. We would like to know how the succession will be handled. Rhaenyra is my heir. In keeping with Westerosi tradition, their children would take their father's name. You are not proposing the Targaryen dynasty end with my daughter simply because she is a woman. I only seek clarity, Your Grace. I know this union is not what you would choose. I hold nothing against your cousin. That we perform our duty to our fathers and to the realm. And when it's done, each of us dines as we see fit. Think of the tournament, with the feast, the battles at sea. You're a fool. <laughs> oh, horseplay. Oh, horseplay. Oh. Do you want to start fighting a little bit? Like play fighting? It'll lead to something fun. Look what's happening. Are you asking for me? I'm asking you to come with me. You're yeah, so sweet. very sweet. And free. Free to go where we like, to love as we like. You could marry me. A marriage for love. Right. I am the crown. Right. Kristen. Or I will be. It does not have to be the end. Right. That's. So, Kristen, Lady and I. You can be my plaything. I understand it. So, Kristen. I mean, it was a cute thought. The night of Damon's return. He's gonna think the tea was about him. There's been a rumor. It is, of course, unthinkable for me to question the virtue of the princess, whom I hold in highest regard. But breaches in resolve, <laughs> breaches or rather lapses. It happened, Your Grace. <laughs> no, shut up. He's talking. No, she's. It's a different I thing. Know, He's talking about. He doesn't Sin, know. You allude. My oath has been broken. I have dishonored myself. Yeah, she had the hell of a night. I deserve night. no consideration. She had a night. Thank you for your honesty, Sir Kristen. By the way, did she bang her uncle too? Right. You may go. The leechings have always brought his grace relief. Is that his arm? <laughs> Where is the queen? I had hoped to pay my respects. I understand the Queen is still readying herself for the celebrations. My 
like the truth. My betrothed. Targaryen and uh oh okay the beacon on the high tower do you know what color it glows when old town calls its banners to war green oh so I think the queen now is like <laughs> yep my son's the heir not you Veil. Men are made to answer for their crimes. Even Targaryens. And who are you? I am cousin to your late lady wife. Ah, yes. Terrible thing. It was no accident. Are you confessing some guilt, Sir Gerald? I am making an accusation. The truth is, I'm glad you've come. I wish to speak to you about my inheritance. Jesus Christ. What inheritance? Lady Rhea and I had no heirs. After my niece's wedding, I plan to fly to the Eyrie and petition Lady Jane myself. Perhaps I'll see you there, Sir Gerald. Don't. They look handsome, Matt. Don't. Dude. What? You don't know me, Sir Kristen. No, but we are both deeply invested in this union. <laughs> Sir Lena is quite dear to me. As I know, the princess is to you. Because if those are kept safe, and so are we all. He's... I don't think that was necessary. Hey. Die. Yep. At this. Why'd you fucking do? Oh. House Velaryon. Sir Kristen. The Queen. <sighs> there goes the king. Well, that was just tension for about 20 minutes straight. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I kind of called it. That conversation was not necessary. Talking to Christian or Kristen or whatever his name is. No, like you know, as long as you don't tell anyone's secret, we'll all be fine. Well, you know, that, that that sounds like you're trying to tell the secret. You know, like why do you know it? So, what's the Queen's plan? Other than the fact that Kristen knows the truth, right? About Rhaenyra. Some of it. Some of it. Not even all of it. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? And where'd freaking Damon go, by the way? Or did Damon start it? You know what I mean? Right. I mean, well, I don't know how he would start it, though, because Damon still... didn't know about Christian. Right. Didn't Certainly didn't know about, you know, the the groom and his boyfriend, or the fact that they knew about Christian, although it was kind of a guess, it seemed like. It was a good guess. Right. I don't know. Damon had something to do with that, I feel like. I don't think he... But, I don't um, know. Like, where'd he go? I uh, he disappeared. Well, for I mean, he there was the yeah. I don't know. It was all chaos, mm -hmm. and I I think 
damn, it probably got out of there before all that started, and then, like... It seemed like it started right when he was holding her right, face, though. Like, it started right. right at the same time. And I'm assuming the king is gonna die this time, because he's fucking leprosy. Holy shit. That arm was ready to come off. It had a pretty bad blood disease going, you know? So... All hail Queen Rhaenyra. The good news is you can kind of bang whoever you want now. Mm-hmm. I know you were in love with someone. Mm-hmm. We're men. We get over that shit. Mm-hmm. As soon as you die, I'm banging everything. Yep. There's a box of Oreos on the end of the couch. Banging it. Banging it. Banging it. So this seems like... Because you were saying there should be a time jump coming up. Yeah. This definitely seems like a, a good spot for a time jump in the next episode, right? Yeah. Like we're going to jump in and Renera and him have a bunch of kids. and They're doing fine. They both have this other is lovers. Hap- this, is the, this is happy. This, this is a happy bit of GOT universe. It's all just going to be happy. There's only one death, so light year is better than the red wedding. Yeah. Or it was akin to the purple wedding. There's only one death of that, too. Yeah. Much happier death. Yeah. Mm. I wonder how that actor's doing. Can he even get work? Probably not. Everyone <laughs> hates him. Everyone hates him so much. punchable face much. in the history of the world. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Comments. Let us know what you thought of that episode. Uh, she doesn't think Damon had anything to do with it. She even it makes her wince when she thinks about it, apparently. Uh, you're very pretty. But, uh, I think he did. Like, he did something. Like, he was the catalyst. I don't know how. But, like, the last thing we saw, was, you know, was grabbing her face. Like, looking like he was about to kiss her. You know? And when it kicked off, I thought maybe he did try to start start some shit. And it was some other shit. So, like, I don't know. Maybe he's got a bunch of little birds. He heard about everything, too. But, yeah, we'll be back next week for episode six. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you. We'll talk to you next time. Tschüss.